Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by She. So today I'm here with another video where I will show you how to make this cute little uh, barefoot sandals here. So um, this is a pineapple uh, design um, sandals and I have my beads here that I will be attaching onto the string here. And um, you'll also need your scissors a uh, darning needle and also your 3.0 millimeter crochet hook so guys let's jump in the video so guys to begin we will start off by making a slip knot so insert your hook wrap it around and pull up a loop now that you have your slip knot you will go ahead and chain three one two and three this day, uh, chain three here counts as your first double crochet. You're going to yarn over into that first um, stitch there. You're going to make one double crochet. Yarn over and pull up, pull through two there and pull through the next two. Yarn over again into that same stitch, make another double crochet. Yarn over and pull through the next two. Now you have three double crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Sorry, not chain three, but chain two. Sorry about that. And you're going to insert your hook again into that same stitch and make another set of double crochet. One, pull through the last two there. Go ahead make another now we have two double crochet there on the other side now you're going to chain three one two and three and then you're going to slip stitch into this hole here with that first stitch which is the same stitch that we have been working in now after that you are going to chain 20 one two three four and 20 now that we have our 20 make sure that you do not um, twist this part here this is gonna be the loop to put over your toe you're gonna insert back into that same stitch and you are going to make a slip stitch And on the side here, you are going to slip stitch on the side, go right up to the chain two space here. So continue doing that and I'll see you here. So now I have come to my part here where I'm going to do my last slip stitch and I'm going to chain up three, one, two and three. Now you're going to make a uh, double crochet, so you're going to make another shell. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your loop, pull through two, pull through the next two. Yarn over, pull, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn, pull through two, pull through the next two. Now you have three double crochet, you're going to chain two, one and two. And you're going to make your next three sets. To complete your shell and that completes that shell now you're gonna chain one and um, and two you're gonna chain two and you're gonna go into that same space and you're gonna do three double crochet And that completes it. So now you're going to turn your work and then you're going to slip stitch on top of each stitch until you reach to this um, space here. 
So into that first one, you're going to make a slip stitch. It's going to be a lot of slip stitching to make this um, sandals here. So that's three slip stitch and then into the chain two space, you're going to do another slip stitch. You're going to chain one, two and three and go ahead and make your next shell. That's two. That's three. Chain two. Oops. In the same space, make another set of three. Chain two, one, two. Go over into this one and make another set of shell. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. And make another set of three double crochet to complete your shell. Two and three. Now that we have completed both shells there, we're going to turn our work again and slip stitch. So continue doing that and I'll see you when we get here. So this is what our work looked like so far. So now you're going to slip stitch inside the chain two space, chain up three, make your next shell, insert your hook, Make your double crochet. That's one and two. So that's three. Chain two. And another set of three double crochet to complete your shell. Now you have your shell there completed. You're going to chain one and then you're going to make a double crochet in here. Chain three, one, two, three, and then another just double crochet inside that chain two space. So this is what it, what it should look like. Chain one into this uh, space here, you're going to make another shell. One, two, three double crochet, chain two, one, two, and three double crochet. So this is what our work look like. So now you're going to turn your work again. And you're going to do slip stitch. And one in the chain two here, chain up three, yarn over, and make your next shell. This pattern is very repetitive, so you'll be doing a lot of shells. Chain two, one, two, and make your next chain three here. And that completes our next shell there. Now that we have done that, we are going to, um, chain one and two and into this uh, space here we're going to put eight double crochet
So now I have my eight double crochet there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain two. And make another set of double crochet. One, two, and that completes our next shell. This is what your work should look like. Moving on, making your slip stitch. chain of three and make your next shell again chain two to complete your shell now you're gonna make three double crochet there it is and now you are going to make one and two chains again and you are going to go on top of each double crochet here and you're going to make one double crochet and when you make the one double crochet you're going to chain one and then going to the next one, chain one, and you're just gonna follow that same sequence. When you get to this side here, you're gonna chain two and then make your shell. So I'll see you at the end of this round. So this is what our work look like so far, guys. So now we're gonna move on, making our slip stitches. And then one in the center here, chain three, make your shell, one, two, so that's three, chain two, complete my shell there I'm gonna chain two one two and then I am going to single crochet into this first chain one space and then I'm gonna chain one two and three into the next I'm gonna chain four into the next I'm gonna do another single crochet one two three and four chain of four one two three and four into the next single crochet chain of four again one two three and four into the next space Another single crochet, chain of four, into the next, another single crochet, chain of four, and in the last space here, we're going to make another single crochet. So this is what it should look like so far. Now you're going to chain one and two and into the next stitch here, we're going to complete our next shell. One, two. And 
and that completes that part there and now you're gonna make slip stitch again to that space one, two, and three. Make another. Now we have three. Chain two. One and two. And there it is. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Into this space, we're going to make a single crochet, chain up four, single crochet again into the next space. And basically, this is just what we're going to do. Uh, chain up four, single crochet in the next, chain up four, single crochet in the next, chain up four, single crochet in the next space. So you're going to continue doing that until you get to the end here. Make your next shell. You're going to chain three, make your next shell, and I'll see you there. So this is what our work is looking like. So each time we go up, uh, our pineapple will be taking on its shape. So now we're going to do our slip stitches on the side here. Make your shell. Now you have three there. Chain two. Now my shell is completed. You're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. So for each round, uh, our chain space here will be increase. So for the next round, it will be five. So make your single crochet here. Chain up four. One, two, three, four. And the next one. And continue doing the same thing, repeating that same pattern. Go right over and I'll see you at the end. Make sure that you chain your four for your separation chain to go to your shell here. So continue doing that and I'll see you there. So guys, I went ahead and I did my slip stitches here. And this is what it looks like. So our, our pineapple is coming on beautifully. So now I'm going to make my next shell here. Always chain your three and make two more double crochet. Chain two. And make three more double crochet in the same space. Now that I have my shell there completed, I am going to chain five. Moving on over, we're going to make our single crochet, chain four, in the next stitch, in the next stitch, And in the next stitch, single crochet. So now you can see that we only have three loops left. So we're almost done making our 
sandals guys so I have one two three four five now I'm gonna make my shell here turn my work and do my slip stitches and then slip stitch into this one here make my next shell again that completes my shell now I'm going to chain six one two three four five and six make my single crochet chain four single crochet again one two three four single crochet one two three four five and six now we only have two pineapples remaining well two little loops I should say remaining two and um to finish our pineapple here so continue doing that i will do that and make my slip stitches and i'll meet you on the next row so guys this is what our work looked like and i did my slip stitches now i'm gonna make my next shell so i'm chaining my three yarning over pulling through two pull through the next two loops complete my double crochet again another double crochet chain two yarn over insert your hook and make your next three double crochet here's my shell completed now we're gonna we chain six here so now we're gonna chain seven one two three four five six and seven and make our single crochet into this loop here chain four one two three and four into the next one two three four five six and seven so there it is guys now we have only one loop left we're gonna make our shell here and make my slip stitches on the side and I'll see you at the next um, row to continue doing that so guys now we have reached to our final row and I did my slip stitch there and I am going to slip stitch into the center and make my shell So we chained one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Into this last space, you're gonna put six double crochets. Oh, sorry, I think I made a mistake. So before we complete this shell, we are going to chain two and make three double crochet here. One, two, and three. I'm sorry about that, guys. 
So there it is. So we have one shell over here and then we have that one there. So make your shell as usual, chain two and then three more double crochet here. Now you're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now that you have your eight, you're gonna yarn over and make six double crochet in this last space here. So continue doing that and I'll see you over on this side where you will chain eight again and I'll meet you here. So now we're gonna yarn over and make our next shell here. One, two, and three. Chain two. One, two, and three. So that completes our first shell. Now we're gonna chain two and make three more double crochet. One, two, and three. And that completes our sandals. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna fasten off and I am going to chain 220 um, chains uh, to make the straps for the sandals like this here. And then I'm gonna show you how to attach the beads. So now I have gone ahead and I chain my third, my, sorry, my 220 chains and I just leave a little bit of tail here. And I'm gonna use my darning needle or tapestry needle, whatever you wanna call it. And I am just gonna go like, um, make sure that it's on the side that you want it to be on. So I'm just gonna check Okay, so this is the back side and this is the side that I want it to be on. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to insert my string from this side here and make sure that um, your, your string is not twisted when you insert it in. You can use your fingers. I'm just gonna be using that needle to actually um, put my my beads on so hoping that this is not too big for these beads let me just try that okay so it works so that's one of my beads on So now I have uh, both my all my three beads on here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and go inside uh, one of the stitches here, and I'm just going to try and lock that. And I'm just going to do a bit of sewing just to secure. Oops, I put it back in the same spot. Okay. So I'm just going to do it like a little sewing, like going up on the loop. And this is just to secure the beads onto if you have your own way of putting your beads on, you can do that. But uh, this is just the way how I am doing mine. And I'm just gonna continue doing more sewing. Until, until I think it's good enough.
Okay, so I'm going to do a last stitch, and that's right there. And I'm just going to use my scissors and cut that off. And then pull my beads down on top of that one. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my beads onto the next one, and I'll meet you back up. So guys, our sandals is now completed and it's looking so cute. Uh, I'm just going to show you the way how to put it onto your leg, but I'm just going to show you uh, on your foot, I should say. <laughs> I'm just going to show it to you on with my arm. So you're just going to insert your foot, make sure that this loop part here is under here, and then you're just going to use your index toe. Think that's your now your middle toe and you're just gonna pull down it's just gonna be something like this it's so cute look at that and then after that you are going to um, tie this part up so this is how the back of it looks so you're just gonna tie that on your leg and voila there it is so guys I hope that this tutorial was easy and straightforward and it was easy to follow. Uh, this is a quick uh, beginner um, sandals. I did do one where I made a short, but the pineapple was a little bit smaller than this one. This one, the pineapple is more um, visible, so you can see it there. So guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting my channel and um i do appreciate all of you guys all my viewers and subscribers thanks again until next time guys bye